couple weeks ago, you set the SMSU all-time scoring record. Oddly enough, you do it in Duluth in front of your brother, who's an assistant coach for Minnesota Duluth. What was that moment like to become SMSU's all-time leading scorer? Um, it was a pretty big honor for me uh, being a part of this program and just what it's been all about to accomplish something like that. It's it really means more to not just me, but the whole program to have an opportunity to break some records and. I think uh, a lot of alumni have reached out and just been so proud and that just kind of shows you uh, what this whole, this whole team is about and how, what this whole program is about. And oddly enough, scoring, not your only record here, also the all-time leader here in free throws, all-time leader in assists, all-time leader in steals. So you've got records on both sides of the ball. What does it mean to have all those records? Does any one of them mean more than the other or do you just take pride in all of them? Um, I kind of take pride in all of them, but I think it, it shows just that I've been, been a part of some good teams, that I've been able to make some good runs and, and be a part of championships. And I think when you, when you win, that helps uh, some records individually come about. But I think those wins and those championship runs, have that's what will mean the most to me at the end of the day. You redshirted your true freshman season, the 14-15 season. But since your redshirt freshman season, you've started every single game here. Why do you think you've been able to start every game? What about your play? What about your confidence allowed the coaches to believe that you could start from day one? I think that redshirt year just helped me get stronger. Because coming in, I don't think I was strong enough or mentally ready for what this league can, can bring on back-to-back -back games and just that weekly, weekly basis. And uh, I think our program just been all about being everyday guys and you got to just come to work every day. It doesn't matter if you're a little knocked up or a little injured, you got to you gotta come and give it all for your teammates. Obviously you end up picking Southwest Minnesota State coming out of high school in Pelican Rapids, Minnesota. And obviously you made the right choice considering the records you set and as you mentioned, not being mentally or physically ready your true freshman season. From the recruiting process, what other schools were looking at you? What, what other options were you considering? Or was SMSU pretty much what you were set on? Um, There's a few other NSIC schools was going back and forth on it. And it came uh, back to here in Moorhead, which I was only 45 minutes away from Moorhead. And just came on a visit. And uh, Moorhead had their guy in Tanner Kretschmann, which is obviously a great choice. And they did great things with him and had an unbelievable career there. but. I think at the end of the day, it all worked out and uh, just happy to be here. Past two years, you've reached the NSIC Tournament Championship both years. Won one two years ago, lost last year. Two straight NCAA tournaments. You've won games in both those NCAA tournaments. Does that championship experience, does that playoff experience help you for this year when you maybe had a little more roster turnover? Maybe you've had to uh, help some new guys get adjusted here. Yeah, I think for some of us that have been through those, those runs have can try to use that to our advantage and uh, help the younger guys out and just bring them along and, and show them the process that it takes. And I, I don't think that's all that, that it matters that we've done that, but I think that we can look back on that experience and, and try to see what we did there and correct some things and also use some things we did to get to those points. A lot's obviously been made of your height, only being six feet tall, but you don't shy away from contact. You, you take it at both ends. You're willing to take a charge defensively and you're not afraid of getting in the paint offensively. Is that more a mental thing or a physical thing for you? Um, a little bit for both. When you get out there, it just, it's just about making the right play and whether that's taking a charge, like you said, it's being there for your teammates and what they need out of you and you just gotta go uh, give it 100% and play your heart out. Do you get a sense that sometimes your physical play maybe irritates your opponents a little bit? A little bit. I don't think they always expect it uh, just because of my height and everything, but I just go out there and try to play hard and, and make the right play, and that's, that's all you can ask. We're talking to you ahead of the Augustana game. You came away with a win at Sioux Falls over the weekend. What's, what's this team at right now? Where is this team at right now as we start 2019? Where do you think you guys are? Well, obviously going into Sioux Falls is a tough place to play. It's always close when we play them, and, and that's a big win, no doubt in that. But I think taking that win and, and not just being content with a big win against a good team, like, we got to build off of that, and I think we got a great opportunity going against Augie and Wayne this weekend, and both are playing really good basketball, and it should be another fun weekend for us. 
you're a finance major, right? Yep. So what are your career plans after this? Do you want to try and continue to play basketball maybe overseas or in some other league after graduation? Do you want to get into coaching? What's sort of your future after this season? Um, right now, I plan on uh, going overseas or trying to explore that option and just going to try to finish the season strong here and hopefully that will give me opportunity to do that. But then after that, if I don't get opportunity, we'll see where that takes me after that. But I don't know, I just really, really enjoying this last senior year and this, this team and enjoying the moment. Any thoughts of coaching like your brother? I go back and forth a little bit. I've talked to him about it, I've talked to a Bigler about it, and it's, it's a possibility for sure. And then with the finance major, any idea what you would do with that finance major? Uh, not really. It's somewhere in the business world if it, it ends up being like that. But so we'll, we'll see. We'll just take it one day at a time, I guess. Obviously, being a finance major, very familiar with numbers. And we mentioned all the records that you set so far here. But, but numbers aside, ultimately, what do you want people to know about Ryan Brueggemann and your career here at SMSU? Um, just that I've been a part of such great teams. And I've been a... Uh, able to be a part of this program which is bigger than any one guy and those records are cool and everything but if they don't turn over to wins and and guys trusting you and having teammates that move on and you still talk to them every day I, I don't think they mean much so I think it just that my teammates and the alumni and the school here they all they all saw I could give hundred and ten percent and that I gave it my all to this program and I, I would do anything to help it succeed.